It's the second cup semi-final, live and loud here from beautiful Infinity Park. It should be another humdinger. The winner of this will face the Jesters. It's the British Army against Fiji Sabu Water. I'm Dallas Sanford, joining commentary by Dan Power for another thriller. Yeah, this one will be a thriller. The two most exciting teams here, they love to throw the ball around. They play that island style of sevens that the world has fallen in love with. It propelled Fiji to a gold medal last year in Rio. And the British Army looking for the upset. We've got some really classy players there. We've got Davida. He does well when he comes off the bench. Isaiah Bobo picked up a knot yesterday, Bobo. It'll be interesting to see if he's ready to go here this morning. And there we see both those sides in the tunnels. There's Fiji inside. We've got the legend Wasali Sarevi. In the sixth jersey, he's been going. Josh Fifi, he's outstanding too. In the nine jersey, directing traffic around the middle. Like a real treat. Eight international players, four gold medalists on the field for the Fiji side, and a ton of talent for the British Army as well. They're going to be in red for the British Army, and Fiji hold the phone. Do not go away. 14 minutes of pulsating rugby coming your way here, in Rugby Town, USA. Eric Summers has the whistle for this clash, and there's no one better and more qualified than Summers. He's still sporting an anti-smile campaign. It feels more like winters with Summers sometimes. Yeah, gets a little grumpy, but I tell you, he's one of the best referees, not only in the States, but going around. Such a cool, calm, and collected customer. He had a fantastic ARC earlier, and happy he's here today. British Army in red, kicking off from right to left. It's the man, Sai Budi Vesalebu. The guitarist goes deep. And Sarevi just watch it goes out the back. Short on penalty on the halfway line. And that's the way Fiji Cyber Water would like to start. It sure would. Nice little set piece here to get things going. They ran a couple of interesting ones yesterday too. They had runners going every which direction. See what they cook up here. This talented Fiji Sabu Water side. The ball will come back with Veramalua. Yeah, just outstanding. Veramalua, his ability to run with that ball in one hand and then use the other as a fend and then the offload is just so dangerous. So here we go. Hey, Fiji. Thank you. Thank you. For a switch with Sarevi. Veramalua now just shifts it across. Early touches. And their playmakers. Viti flicks it away. It's been taken by the flying break party and here they away. Big collision on Craig Edwards. The man they call Bolt. <laughs> Penalty. Putty comes in. The South African flicks it across. Oh, Bruni Vesalevu through the back door. That pass was sublime. Knocked on in. They've got a penalty. No Lago. Wants to go quickly. Summers is not ready. And there's a player down for the British Army as well. It might be Bolt Edwards. Picked up a knock there. That was a pretty aggressive breakdown. Uh, Care, taking some care of one of those injured players from the British Army. You see him down on the ground there. Yeah, look at that heavily bandaged right arm. And obviously those tuning in, you can stay in contact here with everything. If you follow Infinity Park on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, join the Rugby Town 7 conversation on those platforms at Rugby Town 7s. There you see the Twitter at Rugby Town 7s, Facebook slash Rugby Town 7s. Get in the conversation. Tell us what you think. Who's going to win? Who are the favourites? Maybe even a little man crush Sunday from some of the viewers at home. Who's your man crush out there? We saw King Conky earlier. We've seen the beard, of course, Charles Doyle. A few contestants. This was the big collision here, Dan. Yeah, big contact. Well, the grass is green, but it is not soft, let me tell you. Especially when you have a big Fijian landing on top of you. Those guys hit like sledgehammers. Well, it's a big loss. Craig Edwards, the belt. Uh, certainly one of their best players, the 24-year-old, leaves the field. But it's going to be a penalty here to the British Army. A minute 30 gone on the clock. The second semi-final, Vonivesalebu. 
steps a little bit switches with the flying brick then it comes across here to Roko Daguni Nalago physical stuff ball over the top it's bouncing everywhere finally comes to Williams Eddie Williams still going in fact sorry that's Ben Fulton Putty in the middle Fulton is knocked out on and so the defense here from Fiji Sava water holding on good crunching tackles coming in there from Fiji Sava water really attacking on defense what you see coming there just there's a little knock on just bobbles off the head of Fulton as he tries to loop around it's always tough when you get an injury early too isn't it Dallin? kind of throws you've got a game plan coming in you know play play four play five I'm gonna swap you out but then you lose a play just you know jumble jumbles up that bench but jumbles up the plan so here go Fiji with Revovo Gold medalist has Sereni with them and now they go wide great step up midfield B3 is ball to Revovo on the outside watch the jump step oh the no look pass back into a flying Virimalua Clearly still a penalty they'll tap and go very very goes wide BG on the outside Wasali Serevi shuts in bumps off one the 49 year old still bringing the shoulders to the game of sevens it's three on one the dummy's thrown the flick back still available though Revovo big defense coming up Virimalua three on him still going quick ball here for BG as they go through Mothenagathi has dropped it and a counter attack coming from Roko Daguni and the British Army the kick has been charged down no advantage well hectic stuff here take a breath down Stanford Fiji they look certain to score out this right side Valvo, he may have just taken that one or two many steps his own. There's the kick, that's the end of the play. The knock on earlier coming in. Now, British Army have a chance to get this out of their own end. Universalabu. Oh, it's been a pulsating four minutes. 0 0 still the score. British Army, Universalabu, they'll get a full on penalty. Let's tap and go quickly. Kick over the top. There's no sweeper back. It's a foot race. Funny Vesalabu. But it comes through to Revovo. Just flicking it up. There's always a player in support as Domalali shifts it across. Fiti up midfield. Fiti ball in one hand. He's got Sarevi with him. What? Sally Sarevi. Those legs can still go. Sarevi, no. He cuts back in. Draws another. And in the end, it opens up for the big unit, Jasa Verimalua, the 2016 World 7 Series Impact Player of the Year, has scored the first try. I was waiting for the famous Wasali Sarevi dinner plate. The 49-year-old legs, they were getting every ounce they possibly could. Here he goes down the side, does great to step off the right foot here, comes back inside. I thought he was going to score for sure right there. If he just straightens it up, no one in front of him, he cuts back to the post again. Always the showman, Serevi and Verimalua. He ends up getting the try under the post. Oh, beautiful stuff from this Fiji Sabu water side. 7-0, Serevi's conversion. After five and a half minutes gone, we finally have our first try as the Fijian flags are waving around the stadium cup semi-final time and of course a big fat check waiting for one of these teams 10,000 large on the line here Vatimo Robobo with the kickoff and minutes ago in the first half hammers it high knocked back to the British Army Besalebu, a most dangerous attacking player, loses this one. Besalebu, handling error there. As we come into the final 30 seconds, that's not what the British Army would have been looking for. It's a 
last thing they want to do is give up more points here to this Fiji sub and water side who have defended outstandingly. They had that little hiccup to start the tournament, a little jet lag perhaps against the Jesters. As we've come to find out, the Jesters, they're world class in their own right. But ever since they have been super impressed with this defensive effort from the Fijian side. They have been, they took up the army 31 to 5 to get here and Wasali Sarebi a loop around. They don't buy for the dummy, but he still has the strength to go up into the contact. Siren sounds in the background. It's Fiji still on attack. Slipped is that forward. It's play on again for the corner. Very, very in. The slide is there. Like he's going home in a baseball game. And that's try number two. Yeah, big stuff there from Viri Viri. And that's that handling error coming back to haunt the British Army. That off there you go. It looks like it may have been deflected. Did look forward, but it's come off a red arm. Let's see if we can get a, another look at that. There you go. Beautiful. The boys might have been down at Coors Field watching a Rockies game. I don't know how much baseball they play in Fiji, but uh, they could get a team together with some of these athletes. Conversion won't be over. 12-0 the score. Two tries from the Fiji sub awarded team. They lead the British Army at the break. Big second half to come. And let's go to the <laughs> Yeah, we see the British Army huddle. They gave up that try right at the stroke of half time. We would have felt okay going into the sheds. That's seven points to zero. 12 0 against this Fijian side. This was the first try. Sali Sarebi. The old maestro still doing it. Talked to a few legends, spoke to Mike Friday and Frankie Hall, and they're like, their advice is you gotta know when it's time with Sally in. But he's proven everyone wrong here, and this is the second try, Vidi Vidi in the corner at the very end of the half. Just outstanding stuff from Spiggy inside, who certainly found their stride here at the Rugby Town Sevens. And they have, and so a big second half awaits us. You saw England Sevens legend, I saw a Damo Damo, the coach of the British Army. He had some stern words to his troops. Seven minutes left in this competition if they want to go up and get the 10 grand. A lot rests on that shoulders of that man in picture. Boni Veselebu, the 29-year-old. Match number 57 of the three-day tournament is here. And Derek Summers says, let's go. Rabobo. Not back, British Army all day, they've got it though. Nalago puts the foot down. Nalago goes on the outside. It's a good chase and a stunning tackle that brings him down from Nasalia. Still going, the British Army pulls Flick back in play. Fulton dives on this one. Full penalty here for the British Army. Buni Veselebu has got help with Rocco Duguni. Attacks the line. British Army, two penalties in a row, and there is something coming out of Summers' pocket. And it's certainly not a check, it's a yellow card. None of you are 10. Off you go. It's deliberate. That's a big call. I think it's a right call, though. Fringement's inside the 22. You really can't keep, uh, keep him slowing the ball down with negative play. Here goes the army. Now Largo flicks it back in, and it's the man, Funny Veselevu, that gets in to try underneath the sticks. This will bring it. 12 points to seven if the kick goes through. And here's the big thing, Dale. They didn't waste time putting points on here. Two minutes in the bin for Fiji. They're down to six. British Army, the worst thing they can do is waste a minute and a half of that trying to score a try. Four straight on the board. Now they're going to have a good 90 seconds of action. Fiji defending with six players. Well, can ask for a better semi-final. Tony Veselebu back in the thick of things. And Fiji down to six players. This is the last look at it. Take a look at the replay. Great little offload there back on the inside from the Largo. 
Woody Pusilavo, he's the one who gets the try. Ben Fulton goes to the sideline. He's replaced by Edward Williams, the artillery expert known as the Dot. They'll need him here in the next few minutes. It goes up again. The kickoff battle is won here by Fiji. The tap down. And they take it up. Nice little flick there from Domalai. Space to operate for Fiji. Crowder is on the field as well. The impact player, Crowder, puts the legs down. Goes on the outside. Great tackle from Funavesa Laibu. Still there. Crowder supporting the line. Pull down. British Army. Sublime on, on defense. Holding on. And they want to go quickie. Funi Vesalaibu has got the brick with him. To the outside. British Army not resting for one second. Goodness, massive collision, but the ball's taken from Ferry Malua. Just saw uh, Ferry Malua's got Crowder with him. Oh, it's a high tackle, it's a penalty try. Derek Summer says keep the change. Penalty try, pandemonium here. Defending hurdles with British Army player. And we're trying to desperately get back to cover. So you may pull a card here yet, Dallin, as well. Penalty try. Penalty try conversion is academic now. Time off. Now we've got time off. There was a lot of action in that sequence. It would be interesting to see the replay. I thought that one of the Fijian plays may have been done for a dangerous tackle. I saw a pair of red socks fly up into the air on that far side of the field. Let's watch it here. Time is on, yeah. Okay. Boom. Watch this here. There, I thought that was a tip dump tackle. That should have been a yellow card. Come back for a penalty. Fiji now get a penalty try. What a turn of events. Uh, back and forth stuff. And Guy well spotted Dan Power. He's still legs flailing in the air. Summers had the right call though at the end of the movement. But a little bit earlier could have used the touch judge on that one. Be that as it may, it's 19-7 right now. Simp and offense shaking their heads. Ten and a half minutes gone. What is in store for us here at Infinity Park? Hashtag Rugby Town 7s on social media are going bananas. In contact point there and knocked back beautifully from Beefy. What a strong game he's having. Corrada. Tackle coming from Rocca Daguni. Fiji. Shifted wide. Look for a couple of loopers. Dummies thrown and they go in midfield. And of course it's Robobo that gets in. Wow, sailing through like Captain Jack Sparrow. And that is tr another try. It's number four. Well, for Timmy Vivovo. How outstanding was that though? Offloading ability. Cannot express enough. The footwork left with set, right with set, bang, bang, inside to Revobo. They extend their lead. That penalty card, seconds. penalty tried, yellow card. Well, that really hurts. Kick is over. 26 points to seven. Two minutes to go on the clock. And why Sally Sarevi is on the field yet again. Took a quick little breather. That will need his guidance here to see them through a British Army comeback. With six players on the field. So, no see. Nasila Sila, the 25 year old, will kick us off. Just take as much time as they want. Knocked down and the flying brick has it. Patty steals it. The South African doing a good job here for the British Army. Rocker Daguni. He's had a wonderful tournament. They need some of his flair right now as Bunny Vesalevu throws it back. Difficult one to handle. Bally Kinasinga on the outside, busting around there. Beautiful speed for the British Army. Oh, and then it's a touch. They pick up the first down. We wanted to stop the clock. There we go. We have a sub here. We have a replay, sub here. he didn't like his options. Sideline was the safest one. 
Himitaki, let's see here on the replay, goes down. Fred, 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 just yeah, run out of yeah, space. Yeah, he thought he had a bit more room than he had. So Wasali Sarebi, the king of sevens, entertained around the world, especially at the Hong Kong sevens. It's a dummy. dummy. No Get dummy allowed, short on penalty. Should be here, good call there from Summers. As Nalago, 30 seconds on the clock, too little time left, one feels. Flicks it up the back door. Edwards, the dart. Oh, the dart gets the fed to the face. Wow. Accurate with that one, and then finally bundled it to touch. Personal highlight, though. BG even up 26 to 7, looking to play quickly. Here we go, let's see this big fan. Oh. Jeez. If Crowder didn't like it, his optometrist wouldn't be too thrilled either. That was a big one as the siren blows in the background. The ball in the hands of the legend himself. Wasali Sarevi. Ball goes over the top, it's the flying break. Ignatius Putty for the British Army. Ball's not out. It's out! It's out! It's out. It's out. Hinted from the side to the last say. No. British Army, tap and go. Daveda, Nalago. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Tackle in from the side, could be yellow. Wasali Sarevi. Ping. Just deliver it. So they'll deliver tap it. and go with Vamataki. No, Just the last play of the game to see what the British Army can do. Offside. Offside play. They shift it across. Bunny Vesalevu on the far side throws a dummy. And very fitting that he gets the try in the end for his team. 26 points to 12. Conversion to come. Bunny Vesalevu. He has been outstanding for the Army all weekend. It's a consolation try. A try nonetheless, and they will go down 26 points to potentially 14 with the kick to come. Fiji just too good here this afternoon. You'll see the back end of that try. Professor Halalu dancing with the sideline there at the in goal line. The dead ball line, I'm going to get it eventually. Now this conversion is no good. That is full time, 26 points to 12. Fiji move on, they will play the Jesters later here this afternoon in the Cup Final. Utah and the British Army will play for third place.